Well, good morning from Lindvaris, or however it's actually pronounced. Um, I finally made it to the train station nearest to Trekai Castle, which I'll be going to today. And this was uh, another fun adventure uh, finding the right train. Um, I think the biggest problem is the tickets are in Lithuanian, so when I figured out where the, the cashier was and actually bought the ticket, um, they told me that it was going to be um, Platform 2. So I thought, okay, that should be easy enough. Well, there were two trains on Platform 2, and I wasn't sure which one. Fortunately, um, there was a wonderful woman there that was able to help me. She didn't speak English, but she at least showed me um, which train I was supposed to be on and helped me get there. Uh, so I got on that, and it was a quick 15-minute um, ride on the train to this train station. Now I have to figure out how in the world I am getting from this train station um, actually to uh, Trakai, because there's no train that goes directly to that. Um, I, and so it's like an hour walk from here. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I think I'm gonna be looking for um, an opportunity to find a bolt. It's like an Uber, except they're everywhere in the Baltics. And I think that's gonna be the, method I end up taking just because um, there's no other way to get there. The train here was only um, 1 euro 80, um, which is just mind-numbing. Um, <laughs> actually, just getting to the train station was another feat because I took the bus uh, from the hotel, except uh, I must not have paid attention to that bus number either, and it started taking me the wrong direction. So when I realized my mistake, uh, I got a, a bolt to the train station um, to actually get here. So now that I'm in the town, um, I may walk around a little bit uh, just kind of to explore because um, I'm curious and then find a bolt ride um, to get from here to Trekai Castle, which should be spectacular. Um, it actually fits that I'm here because I may find somebody here that knows about the houses of culture um, and would have lived here during the Soviet Union uh, period to kind of say yes there was one or no there wasn't and if there was what happened to it and maybe able to answer some questions for me so well I just had a lovely conversation um, in Russian with a babushka who has lived here um, obviously since the times of the Soviet Union and I said well do you have a house of culture here in this village name that <laughs> is difficult for me to pronounce. And they said, of course, uh, you walk straight and you go around the lake and then it'll be somewhere over there. I said, okay, I'll try and find it. I asked if there was a road that would get me there or if it was, you know, a, just like a pathway um, kind of across the railroad tracks. Um, and they said, no, 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 just go straight. And so they didn't really answer my question. And so I went straight, and then I came to a sign that using Google Translate's little photo app um, told me that I can't go that way without risking getting arrested, and I thought that wasn't such a good idea. So I turned around um, and came back out to the road, and I'm walking along the road. I think I can get there. I'm just hoping that my limited Russian will get me where I need to get. Um, here in this town where I'm probably the only English speaker <laughs> um, walking the streets of the town today. Um, it's, it's really weird because it's got some old parts to it, but also has, you know, this very new roadway here, which is very interesting. Um, you know, I've been pretty impressed all the way around with Lithuania and the upgrades that they are doing uh, on walkways um, and beautification projects everywhere. I haven't been anywhere, even uh, this small town, where they haven't been working to make something better. Um, well guys, I found the House of Culture, so I'm going to head inside now and see if I can get someone uh, to talk with me about um, because this looks like a pretty new building and 
actually it looks like it also says library <laughs> um, so I'm going to hopefully find somebody in here who can tell me um, how it is different now than it was under the Soviet Union um, and what cultural policies exist in Lithuania that allows for this to uh, to be in existence and maybe even how those have changed since the Soviet Union um, but like I said guys this it looks like a brand new building um, Lintvario Biblioteca Lintvario Culturos Romai which I assume means House of Culture we're about to find out so let's go and hopefully they'll let me film on the inside I'm excited to be at Trakai Castle and exploring culture that's a little bit older than the culture of my immediate inquiry. Um, but I think that it's valuable to learn about the cultural heritage of the place from as far back as you can to help explain the context around which everything else fits. So the houses of culture that I'm looking into obviously are influenced deeply by um, the ancient culture from uh, Trek I in Lithuania in general. Uh, I believe this castle is somewhere in the 13, 14 hundreds. Uh, so we think that the United States is old at 300 and here's something that could be 700 years old. Um, so the cultural heritage that goes that far back, I'm interested in tracing that forward to modern day. So we'll see what we can learn here um, and if nothing else, take in the sights at Trek I Castle. Well guys, my Russian saved me again. I am trying to get <laughs> back from Trakai to Vilnius. You know, online they make it sound a whole lot easier than this actually was. I mean, I'm at the train station now and clearly this is a train station in the middle of no place. Fortunately, I encountered two um, babushkas who uh, spoke Russian and I was able to communicate to them and say, you know, is this the train to Vilnius? And how are you supposed to buy a ticket when the when everything's closed? And they said, yeah, this is the train to Vilnius. You can buy a ticket when you get on. Well, crisis averted because um, it, it would have been a very, very long walk back. This is in the middle of no place. And there is clearly nobody here. I don't know who that car belongs to, but um, this is... Uh, some little village on the outside of uh, Trakai. So the train's supposed to be here in a few minutes, so we'll just hang out and wait. <laughs> 